Broforce, the game where you play as every action hero ever created and blow up everything. The plan is simple. 1. Enter enemy territory. 2. Destroy said territory. 3. Rescue the imprisoned action stars. 4. Kill the devil. 5. Hang that flag up high at every given opportunity and God bless America. This is what would happen if you got the most patriotic guy on the planet to design a video game, but instead of coming up with his own original characters, he's like, hey, how about we put Rambo in there? And Robocop, but instead we call them Rambro and Robocop. Yeah, every character has the word bro forced into their name, like this guy, Bro Dread. Kinda wish they just called him Bread. The goal is to use your weapons and power-ups to fight your way through the map, free the bros, and kill what is quite possibly the most passive interpretation of the devil I've ever seen. If you haven't realised already, all of the characters are parodies of action heroes such as John McClane from Die Hard, The Bride from Kill Bill, and The Terminator from the Terminator. Rescuing captured bros gives you an extra life, and each rescue counts towards unlocking more characters. It also means you're constantly switching between characters which keeps the gameplay fresh since the weapon variety is pretty good. For example, you've got Blade's sword, Rambo's machine gun, MacGyver's dynamite, and then you've got Indiana Jones' whip. And uh, you know that saying, don't bring a knife to a gunfight? Yeah, well, don't bring a whip. Ever. Will Smith's gun from Men in Black is pretty cool, but every time you shoot it, the camera shakes like crazy. Like, what is going on? In fact, you know what, let me just go ahead and adjust that in the settings right here. Wait, you can go up? 500%? Okay. What have I done? Alright, so you select a level by flying over to the marker on the globe, and then this guy gives you the mission brief. Operation Liberation. Hmm. Wait, what was that? Operation Liberation. Hmm. Sorry, one more time? Operation Liberation. Hmm. Uh, uh, okay. That was just a pig, I don't think I had to do that. Yeah, I definitely didn't have to do that. The enemies can kill you in just one hit, but most of the bros have pretty strong attacks, so you feel like a badass anyway. Some characters' power-ups are great, like Robocop's auto-targeting system and the Terminator's invincibility. Also, MacGyver can throw chicken. That explodes. Take a guess though. What do you think Indiana Jones, aka Mr. Whip Boy's power-up is? A basic gun! Who did this? So it turns out you can actually give these green guys weapons and they'll help you fight against the enemy. Now wouldn't it have been great if I knew that when I was recording this? I mean I've been out here dying when they could have been helping me the whole time. What on earth happened here? I didn't even do this. Now with these big guys, you gotta be a bit strategic. You can't just be running up on them all willy nilly. It won't work out for you. What I like to do is sneak up behind him, stick a bomb to his butt, BOOM! It's over. For some reason, whenever you complete an area, they start playing the theme song for Power Rangers. Okay, so I reached the final stage, got to this boss battle, and... It was just weird. At first I thought it wasn't that bad because I found it pretty easy to lower his health and dodge his attacks. I killed him in like 10 seconds. But then he immediately got back up so I thought, ah oh, okay it's one of those bosses where you have to beat him 3 times just to win the game. So I killed him again. And again. And he still got back up. So now I'm racking my brains trying to figure out how I'm supposed to beat this boss. And then I figured, hey, maybe I'm not supposed to beat him at all. Maybe I just need to run away. I run to the edge of the stage. Nope. Dead end. So I go back, kill him a couple more times, still nothing. Man, what kind of boss is this? What's even the point of his health bar? It literally doesn't mean anything. So I'm here as the Terminator trying to figure out a way to finish him off once and for all. But it seems like the problem kind of solved itself as the boss met his ultimate foe. A slightly elevated patch of grass that even I could climb. Like, dude, what are you doing? You just demonstrated that you can jump like 150 meters. So while he was glitching out in the corner, I was trying to find a way to destroy the ground beneath him so he would fall. But I couldn't reach far enough, and in trying to do so, just fell clean off the map. Like, what a piece of- Wait, 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 I won? 
How? So apparently when I died, he was finally able to make the jump, only to then walk directly off the cliff. I don't think he was supposed to do that. Alright, with the unexpected success of the last mission, I guess I should do another one. What's the brief, Chief? Wait, come again? Yeah, whatever you say, man. Choosing this mission was a mistake. You have airstrikes, parachute soldiers, suicide bombers, landmines, mechs, a missile launcher. What? You know I'm just one guy, right? Okay, we got Indiana Jones again. I was a bit harsh on him before, but let's give him a chance to prove himself. Great job, Indiana. Look at this guy's legs. <laughs> the destruction just doesn't end. Here, hold this. So as you can see, the game does get harder as it goes on, but... Now that's just not right. Just when you think it couldn't get any worse, they bring in a mortar truck while I'm playing as Indiana Jones. What sort of bad luck? Okay, this truck? I don't know what it's doing. It's just shooting soldiers to their deaths. Alright, it turns out that with these mechs, you can actually jump inside them and control them for yourself. Now, wouldn't it have been great? if I knew that when I was recording this. You know, things haven't been going too well so far, but no need to worry, because my main man, Will Smith, is about to show how it's done. Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there, I'll tell you how. Oh, come on. So you mean to tell me that in the heart of battle, with explosions going off left, right, and center, you give me the worst character in the entire game, Indiana Jones, for the third time. I may have underestimated him. Sky Fortress! Uh oh, it's okay. I just need to channel my inner Minecraft. Minecraft did not prepare me for that. This boss was a lot tougher than the last one, which is saying something considering that the last one literally couldn't die. My attacks were basically pointless, and the only thing which did any real amount of damage to it was when it hit itself with its own rockets. Man, what's with these bosses and killing themselves? I eventually managed to hop on top of what was left of the Sky Fortress, at which point it started giving rapid fire birth, it was so weird. My final plan of action was to lay a trap in the form of a remote control car bomb for it to drop into. This dealt a lot of damage but still left a slither of health remaining, so I finished it off by unloading every single grenade I had, one of which hit the spot just right. So that's Broforce, if you're a fan of guns, explosions, swords, and whips, then you should definitely give this a look. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go do another mission. Wait, what was that? I'm sorry, come again? Yeah, he's not even trying.